I wanted to do a very quick quickie with quads and discuss with you battery safety. We've discussed this a few times. It does throw people off. So I wanted to drop by and have a really quick quickie with you guys about battery safety. It's really, really easy when you get to know how, but as with anything, until you're actually told what it is, you're gonna struggle, are you? Especially if you're new to it. So let's have a look. This is a 660 mar 4S LIHV. And as with any LiPo or LIHV, all you need to do is adjust your decimal point. So you would charge this at 0 0.6. Now, only drones did say to me the other day, well, what if it's a 6S? Again, just adjust your decimal point. Forget about how many cells you've got, whether it's LIHV or whether it's LiPo, adjust your decimal point. So if this was to be a 6S 660 mar cell, you would still charge it at 0 0.6. 0.6 amps. Let's grab another battery and find out what that would be. So this battered battery is 1350 mAh 4S. So you would charge it at 1.3 amps, even though it's a 4S, not a 6S, because we've then got a 1200 mAh 6S here, which you would think you would charge at a faster rate because it's a 6S, but you would charge this at 1.2 amps. Just adjust your decimal point. Doesn't matter if it's a 4S, a 1S, a 2S, adjust that decimal point. So if you've got, and I'm just looking at my desk now and I can't see any, if you've got a 1S that's uh, 600 Ma, you would charge that at 0 0.6, just like you would charge a 4S LIHV. Let's have a quick look at the charger settings to show you exactly what we're talking about and what we mean by 0 0.6. It's a bit dark in this room, but uh, you'll get the idea. We've got the 4S LIHV plugged in and we've got the 4S normal plugged in. And we're gonna have a look at what settings that we mean. So we're gonna go into, first of all, uh, port number A. Port number A, that's a different one. And we're gonna go down, now it's 1350. So what I would recommend is you actually just go down. So you sort of round down, as they would tell us in school. Press start and away you go. And for the LIHV, you need to first of all change to LIHV, of course. But we're looking for charging current. Now this is a 660 mAh, so 0.6. And that is how you charge battery safety. The other point I will make, and I cannot stress this enough, is never, ever, ever, ever charge batteries unattended. So I often will put my batteries on charge in here while I'm filming or, or doing other things. Just don't leave them unattended. And especially if you're going to charge in parallel. My advice is never use a parallel charger. I know people do. I know it's safe for some people. My advice is never, ever, ever use a parallel charger. These things can be dangerous and it's really important that we make sure that we keep them as safe as we possibly can. If you've got any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments down below. This has been a quickie with quads. 